The only constant in life is change. So let's update to the newest Forge version. Alright, we found ourselves back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be updating our Forge 119 project to the newest Forge version. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because there were actually some breaking changes. I believe that there were two different versions that actually broke a lot of things. So I already have Forge open here. So the newest version, you can see 41096. And if we go into the change log over here, we can see that, so this one right here, 94 actually broke a lot of stuff. And then before that, 64 broke a lot of stuff. So you can see 64 over here is actually an insane amount of things because a big client code cleanup pull request was finally merged. And up here, some other things were also merged. Some tweaks here in 95. So from what I've seen at the moment, Porsche says that there shouldn't be any more crazy changes that break everything. So if you update to 41096, or if it's a newer version for you, then that's also fine. It should, in theory, all work. Now, this update definitely is required for the remainder of the 119 series. Otherwise, you will not be able to follow. So how do we update? We're just going to go into the build.gradle file all the way down here and just change it to 96 it was. And let's just build this. So when you load the gradle changes, this can take anywhere from a few seconds to maybe a minute, two minutes, three minutes. I believe the first time I did it, it took about three minutes. It just took two seconds because I already downloaded everything and it's basically all still cached. So then some changes will emerge. So first of all, the first change is going to be this client one over here because of course the client stuff has changed. Now that is no worries at all. We're going to be able to, well, basically deal with this in just a moment. But there are also, I believe, two other changes. One of them is in the villager class. Yep, the professions over here was just renamed to villager professions. The rest should stay the same. And I believe that is actually all of the changes in terms of code. The set render layer method here is in this case actually deprecated. So if we go into this, you can see we can either set our render layer via the JSON model file or override some stuff. Now I'm actually going to show you the JSON file way. And this is actually I find this really, really awesome. Because what we can do is we can of course see that we're basically setting the render layer for the blueberry crop over here. Now we no longer want to do this, right? Just delete the line. And we're going to go into our models file into our block models. And for each of our block models, what we can do is we can now set the render type like this, render type, colon, and then cut out. So in our example, it's a little bit more work because we actually have to do it for each of the block model JSON files. However, still, if you have a normal block that has a different render type, you can now supply that via the JSON file, and this will actually completely work. So these are actually the two only changes that we have to do luckily, but like I said, in the future tutorials, things might look a little bit different. Well, whatever the case may be, let's go into the game and see if it works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft and we can already see over here, the crop still has, you know, basically it has see-through colors. So everything is still working exactly how you would expect it to. Right, a very short tutorial, but still a very important one, because as I've said, you know, the changes are breaking for most other stuff, especially the things that are coming in the next tutorials. But that will be it for this one right here. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new. And I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.